Hello everyone, so today we're going to be talking about uh, digital multimeters. What is a digital multimeter? Well, basically it is uh, a device that can measure uh, uh, DC voltage, AC voltage, DC current, uh, resistance and uh, temperature for uh, this model. Uh, there are different models, some, uh, some also measure AC current, they come in different shapes and sizes, different applications. Some uh, meters also measure uh, inductance and capacitance, so they're just expensive. But this is a pretty basic one that I've been using for uh, three years and never had a problem with that. Uh, I'll put probes on this one. I just want to show you uh, what a meter is. So this, when you start, this is the button that uh, that's for hold, and this is for uh, light. So this is for the light and on, on this one I can say you can measure on this one DC current, uh, DC voltage, AC voltage, continuity, uh, continuity basically if you want to check if uh, something is connected to the like you put uh, probes in uh, uh, two points and see if those points are connected or not sometimes you check it for a short and sometimes you check it if they're connected or not so you could fix that connection and this is basically uh, uh, for current uh, it can measure up to 10 amps and for resistance and resistance this is uh, 200 to 20 mega ohms this is temperature there is a separate temperature sensor for this model and I'm gonna show you how I measure voltage on this one since I have a battery and yeah you can measure it pretty much anything at home with it except for AC current so I've connected the probes these are the probes I'm gonna take off the caps and these are the probes this is a lithium-ion battery 18650 battery I'm gonna measure its voltage and current since it's a DC battery batteries are a DC voltage source or DC current source in short DC power source change the precision you can go to it shows like this for 4 volts and you can measure here 4 volts 4.02 volts and you can also measure 2000 millivolts and 200 millivolts so i'm gonna short this battery to show you the current which never short anything i'm just doing it for demonstration and for the sake of science so maybe uh you could learn a thing or two but it is never recommended to short a battery any battery especially these lithium ion batteries these are very dangerous to uh, if you handle incorrectly and in case if it catches fire never put water on it it'll make it worse lithium basically reacts terribly to water or any moist thing so if uh, you accidentally like uh, damage the battery do not hold it in your hand because your hand contains water vapors so you might catch fire so please handle it correctly i'm just doing it for the science because i know uh, what the outcomes are and i'm gonna do it for a short amount of time i first change this to uh, the the probe from this to this one this measures the current and move this thing I'm gonna show you how I just moved it to current so this is uh, on current mode and on 10 amps now notice when I connect this uh, to the meter check the current the short circuit current so here you go it's 4.7 amps and it's somehow dropping or going up and I'm gonna disconnect it now there was a short spark and the battery already got a bit warm so 
never do that i just did it for the sake of this video and the for the sake of science and for you to learn something never short anything electrical or electronic uh, it always causes damage and yes uh, i'm gonna show you one more thing so this is the continuity option and you can measure the continuity you just connect these and it says it's connected i could do that uh, the same on lithium ion battery so on this battery there is a kind of a fuse called cid so you connect the negative uh, probe to the positive terminal of the battery and you connect the positive uh, probe to the negative terminal of the battery if your battery is in fine condition then it'll say it is connected so here you go this should be good and here yeah. so it indicates that the battery is connected and it's in perfect condition so that's it for today and i hope you liked this video and learned something i hope and if so then like share and subscribe and click on the notification bell so you won't miss any video that i upload and i'll guess i'll see you in the next one peace